Hey you, it's Kazza and welcome to Alone in the Dark. It's a brand new horror game that has literally just come out and uh, I'm very excited to play it. I've been looking forward to this for quite a while. Uh, if you haven't seen, I played the prologue demo on the channel. Make sure you check that out. It's quite short, but it uh, kind of gives you a little kind of bit of a taster of the atmosphere and the kind of general vibe going for this game. And as you can hear from the smooth jazz, this game is set, I believe, in Louisiana. It's like a southern gothic cosmic survival horror game. There you go. That's its official tag. But uh, let's get straight into it. Uh, there are two main characters. Uh, we're going to go standard. Uh, we're we'll going modern because I... Oh, so this is really cool. You can actually pull it old school. So you actually have to search for all the clues and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to go for modern just because, like, yeah, I don't want to have to search every single book. I will be reading all the text, obviously. But, yeah, I don't want to... Oh, hello, Froggy. There are two playable characters. There are two campaigns. I believe they're fairly similar. Apart from, like, a couple of changes from what I've seen from the reviews. Well, R.I.P. Mr. Frog. Um, <laughs> excuse me, Mr. Crocodile. Or is it an alligator? I don't actually know. One's freshwater, one's saltwater. That's all I know. It's probably an alligator, then. This kind of reminds me of, um... So, your uncle. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. I, oh. As in the devil? Something, Something like that. Like that. <laughs> he says a dark man is following him. Watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. Mental health problems in the family. It is hereditary. But yeah, I was going to say it reminds me of Resident Evil 7, but that's also set in but Louisiana Jeremy as well. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. Hmm. I wouldn't have thought you so. Mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to get him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? That's the letter we it's sent in the demo, by the way. Himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? <clears throat> that we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. Right. Emily seems very, um, matter of a fact. I have a funny feeling she'll probably change her tune throughout this game somehow. Her eyes will be ripped so well, open. Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's alright. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. So you have a detective who can't do his tie-up properly. Gotcha. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. Oh yeah. America! What exactly are we gonna do when we find Jeremy? Probably kick ten tons of shit out of him probably. Let's just find him first. Okay. And then this is where we get to pick our protagonist, I assume. So as you can see, it's Jodie Comer and David Harbour who are playing the main characters in this game, which is really cool. It's They've managed to get quite very well-known people to play this. I don't know if there's any other kind of like bigger uh, celebrities or whatever. No. Uh, so, okay, here we go. Every single person on the internet I've seen so far, and I haven't watched any videos on this, but I've, ev I've seen everybody's playing as Edward Carnby. So we're going to do it different. We're going to play as Emily Hartwood. And, um... Let's do things a little different, shall we? Again, I don't know what the differences are in the story. But I feel like changing it up a little bit. Hello? It's so quiet. 
Where is everyone? It's not a place, the place. grizzled detective. Maybe they're on the other side of the house. Stay here. I'll have a look. So from my understanding, this game is almost like a reboot of the original Alone in the Dark. I never played those games. For full context, I have only ever played Alone in the Dark and New Nightmare. Didn't play any of them since. The game looks nice, though. Look for a way inside the house. Okay, uh, what is... Oh, there's a stealth mechanic. Ah, Emily's got a gun, too. Sweet, okay. A long engagement. When I get back, John Marcus. Oh, she's engaged. Oh, wait, play. When I get back. John Marcus, 1918. Okay. Jeremy's warning. So, this is the letter that was sent by the little girl um, in the demo. We actually sent this letter, yes, so... Emily. Their Seto is the prey of evil, and now they're all in on it. The staff and all the patients are nothing more than a mindless cult set to awaken the bayou. I see now that it was wrong of me to try to survive the madness of the dark man. You will also learn that soon enough. Every hour that passes where I deny him his right to my sanity makes it worse for the people I care about. He perfectly staged his world in order to conduct my fall. And I have to fall, Emily. Stay away, my dearest niece. Stay as far away from Desetto as you can. Someday you may understand what I've done. May God forgive me. Farewell, Jeremy Hartwood. Ha, huh, okay. So he, he definitely thinks there's something wrong with him, obviously. Are there any horses in this stable? I like that the um, all of the notes have got... Ooh, what's this? A flashlight? Hell yeah. Flashlight? Have you got a flashlight? Yeah, there's a flashlight. A clue! And a guard kitchen garden key. Ooh, that's cool. I didn't think they had flashlights like that back in the uh, when's this game set? What like the twenties or something? But I don't know. Maybe it's a technological marvel. I'm gonna like scour every single inch of this place looking for like notes and keys and shit. Oh yeah, right. Well, let's just push on. Well, they got rats here. Hey, ratties! Oh, bonk. Kitchen garden key? Ooh. They, they've definitely taken a lot of inspiration from the Resident Evil remakes, which is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Oh, hello. What are we going here? Drink. Okay, what do we... What? It's like, like showing me a numpad there. But... I don't have a controller plugged in, so what the fuck is the... <laughs> but I guess it's because we're like maybe on full health, so... Oh, hello. Is that a... Oh, it's a statue. I was like, oh god, is it a mannequin or some shit? Well, I don't think I'll be able to get in there. Well, you will if you have the key, Emily. If we can find the key, I'm sure we'll be fine. Wait, wait, what's, what's, the, what's in the bushes? There's something in the bushes! That was a... Hmm. What was that? Okay, so... There's some little puzzles going on here. I mean, first I guess we just go in here. This is the only place we can go anyway. Ooh, it's an old creepy greenhouse! Wait, was it... Is it... In the... Okay, I see that was supposed to be a jump scare, but I was too busy wondering what the camera th icon was in there. I think it's auto-saving. The game's like, oh yeah, by the way, you're going to need to uh, probably shoot something in a bit. This is a survival horror game, so we're going to have to like search around for ammo. We're going to have to search around for health kits. Ah! Housekeeper's key. There we go. Okay, it doesn't really... Nothing on it. No label. Uh-oh. Oh, there's going to be something underneath the house, isn't there? 
There's gonna be like some like weird death cult thing underneath. But yeah, I'm very much gonna take my time with this game, by the way. I'm not gonna rush it. So if you guys want me to like rush the story, sorry, but it's not gonna happen. Oh, hello. Drink. Okay, I assume. Like I said, I think dr we're gonna have to swig whiskey for uh, for our health. Right. So this housekeeper's key. Can we use it on this chain out here? Or is that something different? Well, I don't think I'll be able to get in there. Okay, no, it's, it's not this. There is a little, um, a little door under here. So if we go over here, use the key. This place really, like, they need to hire a cleaner. This place is disgusting. They got the grimy vibe going. There you go, housekeeper's key. Kerchunk. Oh, welcome to the Zeno. We're just collecting a very vast array of... Yeah, I will take that. We're collecting a vast array of alcohol. <laughs> if shit goes down, at least we can get drunk, right? I don't quite know how that affects our uh, ability to heal. Maybe we can just splash booze on the wound or something. I don't know. Hey, ratties. Ooh. Pistol bullets. Hell yeah. See, you got to look everywhere. Oh, we found literally one bullet. Wow. Okay. Family body. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of Grigri. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sun, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madam. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm. Do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns? Okay. So, Grandma's been practicing voodoo. Good to know. I do like how everything is narrated. It, it does make things a lot, a lot easier for me than having to, like, read it out all the time. Which I don't, I don't mind reading notes, but... The other problem with there is that there was a bit of text missing. Do you know what? I was about to come in here and go, This kitchen's disgusting! Actually, it's a fairly normal-looking kitchen. Oh. Someone's stomping around upstairs. It's probably my uncle. What have we got in here? 
We've got some three bullets this time. Hell yeah. Anything in the fridge? <laughs> pistol. That's, that's not a fridge, is it? It is a fridge. It was pistol bullets in the fridge. What the hell? Good to know. <laughs> some random fucking things. What's this? More booze? Rat poison? What? Forbidden knowledge. A great depression. Oh, sets. What? There are sets? La Lanyapes. What does that mean? <gasps> what was that? Lanyapes are non-essential items that you can find throughout the game. Completing sets will uncover forbidden knowledge and even sometimes more. Ooh, okay, so there's collectibles. Lanyapes carry over from game to game. Some sets can't even be completed without playing both Emily and Carnby's campaigns. Ah, uh, okay. So explore... Basically, play through both campaigns, and there'll be like some story bits that are. Oh wait, there's some bullets that I missed. You can't miss all the bullets. I'm gonna need them. Any bullets in the oven? Nope, no bullets in the oven. I mean, if there's bullets in the fridge, there's gonna be bullets in the oven. You'd have thought, anyway. Hell yeah, 19 bullets. Yeah, something's like stip stomping around upstairs. Oh, God, there's a there's a bloody dungeon, isn't there? There's a lovely dungeon. That's it. Two more pistol bullets. Again, I, I just forgive me for literally scavenging everything. It's a survival horror thing. You kind of have to. What we got here? Streetcar ticket. Okay. Ooh. Another land. Lanyapine? God, I'm going to be absolutely crucified in the comments for my pronunciation of that. I need the key. Emily, I was just about to say that. Okay. Most likely the other way, then. Oh, we're going upstairs. It's actually quite a nice mansion. Like, it's quite well lit. Uh, oh, that's locked. Nice lighting, nice carpets. To say how downstairs is a bit shitty. This, I mean, apart from the puddles of piss on the floor, obviously. Nothing in there? No, nothing in there. Let's, uh... Um... Thank you. I thought it was going to do like a PT thing on me there and lock me in the bathroom and then bang on the door and all that kind of stuff. Thankfully. Ooh, hello. <gasps> Deserto floor plans. Okay, we've got a map. Okay, so. Very similar to Resident Evil, we've got a map. We've got quite simple bolted door. Ah, so bolted doors, I imagine, we get from the other side. So. Can you assume you have to kind of go from... We're here in the orderly. Uh, go down through the plaza, stair hall, grand parlor, and we can unlock it through the dining room to come back through if we need to. Cool. And it shows you where puzzles are as well. Okay, that's that's pretty good. And the piazza key. Hey, not the what's this? Not the pizza key. A locked medicine box. No, we don't have the key for that. Well, we're full on drink, apparently. Emily doesn't want to carry around any more booze, so... Lottie's diary. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around. So the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. 
Okay, so this basically tells me, and it's in quite, you know, plain text there, that to find the key, we need to go to the Grand Parlor. So if we look at our map, Grand Parlor is literally just like here. So we just have to go out through the piazza. Yeah. And that's where we find the key to that. Press I to open the map. Yeah. Okay, we've I've worked that out already. Okay, so this is the library. I need the key. Yes, Emily, I know. That's locked. Okay, so we've got to go upstairs. We can't actually get through to the grand. Oh, hello. What the hell? It's wet shut. Wedge door. Okay, so we've got lots of things we could do. We just need to go find some more keys. It looks important. Yeah, and it's also locked. So everything's locked here. This is very familiar to me as a Resident Evil fan. Shout out to Resident Evil. Uh, definitely go check out my Resident Evil videos on the channel if you haven't already. <clears throat> okay, what was the key we actually just picked up? The Piazza key. Okay, uh, map. Oh, okay, so we do actually have the key to this. Uh, let's see. This door here is the piazza door, so... There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, we're back out here. Oh! Sorry, birds. Didn't mean to scare you. Right, this is back out here. I do like a spooky mansion. Oh, wow, nice. Me and Emily had the same kind of uh, thought there. Wow. Very grand. Love your, love your stuffed bear you've got. What's that? Some kind of... I'm not really big on my American uh, wildlife, I must admit. We don't get a lot of dangerous wildlife here in the UK. <laughs> Squirrels, seagulls. They're pretty vicious. Apart from that. Yeah, not a great deal. Okay, the Picayune Post. The Great Depression. President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods in an act to protect American labor. Following the collapse of the Wall Street stock market on October 24 last year, American industry has suffered greatly. Thousands of companies have gone bankrupt and left a large part of the American workforce unemployed. In an attempt to turn the tide, the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act has been signed by President Herbert Hoover. By regulating commerce with foreign countries, the government hopes to encourage the industries of the United States to compete with cheap foreign imports. Superstition on Rise New Orleans voodoo stores and spiritual mediums see increased profit during troubled times. While the market has faced hard times ever since Black Thursday of last year, voodoo doctors and snake charmers see significant rise in number of customers. With the coming eve of St. John on the 23rd, the police expect increased cult activity around Bayou St. John, the southern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Voodoo rituals in that area on the eve of St. John have a long tradition reaching back to the first snake worshippers brought as slaves from West Africa. During the 19th century, its practice was popularized by the legendary Marie Laveau and has since been embraced by many of the Creoles and the surviving aristocracy of the French Quarter. Author Seeks Asylum Rumors regarding author Cassandra Beauregard making Dorsetto her home verified. Dorsetto Hospital is an old plantation building on the eastern shores of Lake Pontchartrain. While often considered an asylum for the insane, residing Dr. Elmore Lee Gray prefers to think of it as a convalescent home, a place where you can go to rest. The patient list is kept secret, but thought to include many of the black sheep of wealthy families, because at Dorsetto, treatment does not come for free. Local author Cassandra Beauregard has now been confirmed by her own admission. She's been lauded as a powerful Creole voice and written many successful books. Lately it was reported from Hollywood that she has finished a moving picture manuscript titled Slaughter Gulch. That film is set to hit the theatres next year. Thank you very much for that. 
Uh, so basically what that confirms is that this was a hospital before it was a house. So when Emily said um, that rubber stamp. Okay. I remember this bit. I remember this bit. This is where we posted the letter. Because in there, that's where I think it was Grace, the little girl. Um, we went there with Grace and then the monster came out and like it swallowed her whole. I remember this bit. Right, well, that's barred, so nothing in here. Okay, I think reading all the notes, getting some context is really important. So this place was a hospital, right? And I believe that newspaper was dated 1900, so... Ooh. Oh, Edward. Oh, hello, who are you? Excuse me? Do you know where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? Well, of course not. McCarthy, what are where all these people come from? I told you not to lose sight of the girl. Don't you worry, Mags. I'll find that little rascal. Who are you people? What are you doing here? I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. His name is Jeremy Hartwood. What are oh. you doing, child? You shouldn't be alone. Go find McCarthy. Who are these people you? Just appear you from nowhere. For the Fay Dodo? Go upstairs now. My name is Emily Grace. Hartwood. I, I'm, I'm the niece of Jeremy Hartwood. This is Detective Carnby. The police? Why are you here? No, I'm a private investigator. Sorry to bother you. My client's worried about her uncle. He's a patient here at Dresetto. If you don't mind, could you direct us where to find him? No, I can't. Jeremy has gone missing. If you leave your information, I will make sure to contact you. Wait, he ran away? No, he won't leave the house. He's around here somewhere, and both of our orderlies are looking for him. That's unacceptable. Where's Dr. Gray? I want to speak with him immediately. Fine. I'll ask him. Wait here, and don't touch anything. What, you mean all the stuff I've been looting on the way up here? <laughs> Just walking in, steal all your ammunition, steal all your booze. She's watching us. You want to see Jeremy's room? Yes, please. Thanks, Can Grace. Follow me. Well, she didn't get eaten by a monster, because she's obviously here. I remember this bit. This is really cool. Because this bit, like, turned into, like, a swamp. And there was, like, a monster around. Because there's these really creepy statues. we got some sus characters here, I think. Right, so this is Jeremy's room. Thanks, Grace. Much appreciated. Strange kid. Yeah, she's a bit weird. Mm. She got, she got in by a monster around, once. Find. Yeah, good plan. Oh, God. There's a locked box with a slidey puzzle. Oh, no. I'm going to have to do a slidey puzzle. Locked steamer trunk. Is that where you shit? Like a Cleveland steamer. <laughs> just, I don't want to open that. Just, just leave it shut. Leave it shut. Okay. The commonplace... Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawea. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Signora Pirosi, back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Seems conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Signora. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges in the oven for Yeah, I accidentally cut that off. There's like five pages. Holy sh okay. They're not all as long as the first one. That's good. But we are getting some clues. There's there's white text. White text is very um, important. So we're getting the dark man mentioned a lot. Let's listen to the page. How did you first come to understand such things, Signora? How did you know that the battered boil in the basement would lead me to Lafayette Cemetery? Or how the old upstairs clock with its 
astronomical motifs would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor. Those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see Tarawaya? Oh, I want that more than anything. Please, let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under his Bodhi tree. Despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to Tonka. Instead, she cruelly told Baptiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way, that the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear, and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. The people of Deseto were becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. All will be lost. Everything. Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waite. He seems to be a clear-thinking man. Maybe Beauregard. The dark man offered me a prison, and I accepted. I signed that miscarried contract and entered the dark pack. Everyone is safe, except for me. Right. Okay, so I think what he's talking about is he's been, like, painted tile. Oh, okay, we've got the painted tile. Um, so what he's talking about is he's, like, entering other worlds, and there's this dark map. What the fuck is? Oh, it's a speech bubble. We could talk. Can we, t can we talk? I found a ah. place book. What's that? A notebook with all kinds of stuff in it? Do you know a place called Tarawea? Never heard of it. Is it close? I've no idea. It just seems like it was a place Jeremy wanted to visit. Hmm. Good to know. Yeah, I d definitely. Thanks. Thanks for your thanks for your insight, Combi. You're uh, you're obviously some type of academic, right? Okay, we've got to solve this puzzle. Uh, it's pretty simple. Like I think, just do this. Oh, okay, it's not one of those dodgy sliding ones. It's a pretty easy one. Ah, open says me. What do we got? Have you ever seen anything like this? Looks like a talisman. He was talking about that in his journal. Oh, <laughs> hello. I wonder if that actually is him, and he's in the painting. Can you That's... find me a knife to cut the canvas? I want to take this with me. You want to take the painting? Sure, I'll find one. Yeah. I think the painting is like a magical entrance. <laughs> it just reminds me of most YouTube thumbnails. Even my, I like a self thing. I do that too, but. <laughs> Oh, okay. We've got the painting now. I found this tube oh. as well. So keep it oh. For you. Oh. She's starting to... Do you want to carry it or should I? Miss Hartwood. Emily? You right? I'll take it. Oh. Thank you. We're done here, right? I'm not sure. I don't know how to do any of this. Listen, I think we should talk to Dr. Gray. He must know something about what's going on around here. I agree. Okay. Let's do that. Come on, I don't want to be here all night. All right, Jesus Christ, Edward. Chill. Detective Carnby? W where did... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're up, row. I have a feeling this manner like shifts between different realities. What on earth is happening? What is this place? 
Well, as I was saying, different realities. Different, or different places in reality, I guess. Um, so we were in Deserto a minute ago. We ain't there now. We're in some random fucker's house right now. Are the oh, there are bugs on the wall. I prefer the rats. Yeah, yeah this isn't the manor. Oh, hi. I've got a friend. It sounds like there's one to the left. I can hear something. Yeah. Told you. Oh, hello, Swamp Man. You fuck. Ow! Yeah, we got smacked in the face, but it's fine. Boom, headshot. Reload, come on! Ow! Um, Emily, stop trying to open the door! Run! Thank you. Oh, apparently he can't come in here. Let's run this way. Where is he? There he is. He's stuck. Yeah, we broke him. Woo! What the hell was that thing? The things. Uh, multiple. Two of them. Okay, uh, how do you heal? G. Okay. Drink some booze, heal our health. I say, I could I could tell that there was one to the left. I could hear him. Our pistol's pretty crap, though. It doesn't do a lot of damage. But they're like swamp men. Like, covered in, like, gloop. Oh, gold. This reminds me of, um... This is the problem. This game's just come after Alan Wake 2, right? So there's going to be a lot of, like, me this referencing Alan Wake 2. Items can be thrown at enemies used to distract them. Tap Q to quickly hold the item. Hold Q to aim. Okay, well, where's the enemy? I don't see an enemy. Oh. Right, okay, well, the... Fresh shift. I know how to run. I've run a lot. Right, where's the monster, then? I wonder if we could, like, run past those monsters, you know? Excellent. More pistol ammo. Like, I thought I had a lot of ammo, but those guys, they're like bullet sponges. They take a lot of shots. Oh, thank God this is America and there is bullets everywhere. I would say this. If you set a, um, a horror game in the UK, especially modern UK, you wouldn't find any ammunition anywhere. Ooh, a pipe! Sweet! Okay, we can... Okay. Okay. Well, that saves a lot of ammo. I wonder if it's got durability or whether it's, uh... Because otherwise, like, melee weapons are, like, really powerful. Ding, ding! Okay, let's go uh, visit the corner school like we're supposed to do. Okay, that's a heavy attack. Melee, melee attacks are a little bit janky. <gasps> Another bike. Ding. The Conqueror. Dodgy name for a shop. <clears throat> Hello? Anybody home? This looks like one of those, um... Like, voodoo shops. Okay, it's not... It is a voodoo shop. Look at the little, uh, figure. Whoa! Whoa! Emily. There you. 
Batiste? How'd you get here? I was back at Dorsetto. Looking for my Uncle Jeremy? Jeremy's your uncle. I didn't know. Why would you? You're still working at Dorsetto? Yeah, both me and Lada stuck around. We're real orderless now. Y you remember my sister Lada, don't you? Thank you for not axing me in the throat. I appreciate it, mate. How are we here? You know about the dark man haunting your uncle? I'm familiar with his mental state. I think we all in his head somehow. Because these streets are real, but they're not like on any map. Nah, this is like when you remember something, but in the wrong way. Right. Do you know how to get back to Dorsetto? I'm not safe here. Sure words have yet been spoken, Mrs. Marcus. Don't call me that. It's Miss Emily Hartwood. There's no reason to call me anything else. I'm sorry, Miss Emily. I'm just trying to tell you like it is. This place ain't safe for no one. There's evil hiding in the dark. I know, I've killed three of them. Back. Only Jeremy knows how. He has this juju necklace guiding him. You mean this guy? Ah. Mm-hmm. Just like it. He says it's been protecting him. Ever since he got it from Miss Jackson down the street. You know where it came from? Have you been there? I was there no more than one hour ago looking for Jeremy. Locked it up to keep the ghouls from getting inside. You can have the key if you want. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take a look. Stay safe, miss. I'll try. As long as you don't try to throttle me anymore. That would be all good. He seems like a decent enough guy. Batiste's keys. What's this? Preserved reptile. Oh, it's a snake. It's a snake. Let's loot his shop before we go, though. We should definitely do that. Sorry, Batiste. We're going to uh, just loot all your stuff. Right, so a shop up the street, right? I wonder if the creatures only exist in like this realm. That it's like a think of it like Silent Hill. It's like a like a other. Well, hello, you are weird looking. Um, run. Just a squidgy widgy over here. Wow, look at you. Oh. Oh, that's rank. Ugh. I have to be. Yeah, I know. I really worked that out. Okay. I've worked that out already. Mr. Squidgy Tentacle Face over there. Mr. Squid with Tentacles. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're, we don't want to go into the fog, because I imagine we'll probably get turned around. What we do want to do is go this way. Yes, give me poor pistol bullets, please. Oh, an axe! So I have a funny feeling. I can't go that way. Yeah, because of the fog, I know. Right, we can only carry one melee weapon at a time. So I'm going to assume they have durability, so they'll probably break if we... Uh... I want to test that theory. Okay, next enemy we come across, we're going to beat the shit out of it with an axe. Alright. I think I hear one. Or maybe I don't. I don't know. I don't really hear something. Yeah. Hello. Right, okay. Oh, look at you. Hello. Right. Melee attack time. Yes. Okay, so melee weapons break. There's another one. Oh, he's up there. Hello. What are you doing? It's one of those dodgy blob monsters. 
Is that a horse? Is that a horse? So with melee weapons, it looks like you can kind of like infinitely stun lock things. Oh, uh, oh. You can like infinitely stun lock enemies. But obviously they do, they will break. Let's go try to use it on this guy. My weapon broke. Oh shit. Another guy. Let's um. Back the fuck up. There we go. Yeah, melee weapons are very useful. They're just they just break very easily. Holy crap. These guys are like fucking bullet sponges. Creepy. Okay, right. I think we're okay now. We've only got like six bullets left, unfortunately. This is why you have to search. If I didn't like search every single fucking nook and cranny. Juju. Okay. Ooh, we've got two of these. I think the other one's a wallet or something. Also, you can't sprint while reloading. So you kind of have to make the decision when you're reloading. You can't be, like, running away at the same time. This must be Miss Jackson's place. Let's see if we can find out more about Jeremy's talisman. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Woo! This ain't for real. Okay, I can, I can see the talisman on there, but... Um, apparently we can't use this door. So I'm pressing E and nothing's happening. Okay, I guess we have to pick up the talisman first, right? Here it is. Exactly like Jeremy's talisman. Probably because it is Jeremy's talisman. Okay. In between there are doors. Ah, okay. So yeah, that, I, I'm right. An old talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving of the numbers look like less than 100 years old. But the base could be from antiquity. The polished black sunstone, the middle has a glass finish. Occasionally it gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. Yeah, so I have a funny feeling this is like a world between worlds. I think it's meant to hold the talisman. Right. I'm not sure what numbers I should use. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Yeah, I was going to say there's probably something in there, but... I want to go in here! Look for the number combination on the... What's it say? Something. Uh, it was... Talisman schematics. 358. Not where I want to be, but it's a start. 358. Okay. Three, five, eight. What's that picture in the glass? Where is that? Right. So what this does is like, I guess it like opens up. Now we can go in that door. Okay. So there's the picture. So like, we have to use the talisman to like open up the doors Good between reality. Good to reality. see you again, Miss Hartwood. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. Oh, this is the doctor. She also alerted me that you brought a detective with you. I'm very curious to hear what this is all about. You don't remember me, do you, Miss Hartwood? We met at your family's house in the Garden District, when your uncle was about to be admitted under my care. No, I remember. Sorry. I'm not really feeling well. Yeah, we just, like, well, travel between realities. I know. Let me make you a drink. Okay. I don't seem to have made much of an impression on you. On the other hand, I can vividly recall you and your parents. Because of our cheerful disposition, I'm sure. Yeah. You are far too intelligent to think that. You come from a joyless family, Miss Hartwood. The only amusement I took from my visit was discovering that the young lady's drink was an old-fashioned. Very astute. Is that supposed to make you seem attentive or intelligent? Whatever you prefer. I don't I like this guy. I don't know why. why. Here, Miss Hartwood. 
And why you brought a detective? I received a letter from my uncle. He seemed certain that he was in danger here. If I find out you're treating him badly, I'll be taking him back with me to New Orleans. Really? Is he going to live with you in your tiny garçonniere? That would be a spectacular way to ratify your spinsterhood. Because you are well aware that your father would never let him back in his house. No, I have it. Maybe you can bring him back up north. You've been wanting to move back for quite a few years, haven't you? You always preferred your mother's side of the family. Jeremy is free to leave with you. I won't object. However, there is one problem, as you might have learned. He is, in fact, missing. Yeah. Do you know where he could have gone? No, I'm afraid I don't. I have my staff looking for him. I'm sure he will show up eventually. Especially if he learns that you are here. He is quite fond of you. What can you tell me about his condition? I never heard a proper diagnosis. What is your medical opinion of him? I wouldn't well, trust this guy's medical opinion. Think. He is an anxious man. Depressed, even. He suffers from a perceived lack of order in his inner and outer life. He constantly complains about events not presenting themselves according to their divine nature. In the Dark Man? Hard to tell if it was ever anything specific. Jeremy uses the Dark Man as a psychological scapegoat to avoid facing the truth that he is in any way at fault. You don't think there can be any truth to the Dark Man's supernatural existence? Why would you ask that? Because we've just teleported can we ever be sure if the dark man is some sort of evil presence that is in possession of jeremy well i assure you any evidence that you experience supporting that claim is purely delusional don't get caught up in mass hysteria miss hartwood you wouldn't want to take your uncle's place in this hospital would you what a prick uh, i'll be leaving now doctor I need to keep looking for my uncle. Do so, Miss Hartwood. I'll let you know if he shows up. This guy's a dickhead. And I like him. We're at chapter two. Okay, we got some combat. Combat's pretty standard. Shoot gun, go pew pew. Ah! God, I'm, I'm glad to see you. I was afraid you had left. Me? You're the one who just disappeared. It's... hard to explain. I think I blacked out. I... it was like I went somewhere else. Yeah. It's okay, miss. You're clearly upset. No, it's... I don't know what's happening. I, this is a very stressful situation for you, I understand. Ugh, no, you don't understand. Just take a deep breath. Why don't you sit down, smoke some of the Perique. If you want, I could even drive you back to New Orleans. I just want to have a talk with Dr. Gray first. I want punch me in the face. I found a talisman just like the one in the painting. I think I might be able to figure out where Tarawea is, where Jeremy wanted to go. That's great. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Let me handle the investigation. All right. You don't seem to be doing a very good job, though, if I'm honest. I'm not crazy, Detective. Not yet. <laughs> okay. Catch you later. Yeah, go punch the doctor in the face for me, please. Thank you. Much appreciated. Mm -hmm. If a talisman like this can open up doors between the French Quarter and Dorsetto, then maybe Jeremy is hiding in some strange other world, like Tarawea. Yeah, okay. In the book. We've no got... matter where he is, it's clear that my search won't be limited to Dorsetto. No, okay, we've got Batiste's keys now, so we can actually just go through and, like... Room six key. We're just gonna loot everything now. Love it. Wait, no, this is this is different, I believe, than when we were here with Grace in the demo. Maybe. Yeah, this looks different. Raw shark. Oh, it's one of the raw shark thingies. Okay. Uh, patient files. Sandra Beauregard, the beloved author. Very exciting, isn't it? 
What do you want to put down for a reason for admission? What her agent told us. Cassandra suffers from a writer's block and needs to finish her moving picture script before the end of June. Mr. Chardot suggests Cassandra's heavy use of barbiturates is holding her back and risks ruining her career. And how should we summarize her personal history? Let's keep it short. Cassandra Beauregard is a beloved crime author who managed to pull herself out of poverty and into stardom. Five years ago, she tried killing herself by jumping off a balcony. The incident left her a cripple and now relies heavily on her wheelchair. And for diagnostic impressions? Cassandra suffers chronic back pain following her suicide attempt. She self-administers morphine to keep herself ambulant, but has become addicted and the desired effect is now lost. The drug abuse clouds her mind, and she is unable to focus on real life. To save herself from this insight, she instead makes up stories to fill out the gaps in her own thought process, resembling the Korsakoff syndrome. Oh, bravo, Doctor. How will you treat her? First of all, she needs to be weaned from her drug addiction, and hopefully it will resolve her compulsive lying. Then look into permanently numbing her pain in her back through surgery. Finally, deal with her suicidal thoughts. Fantastic. With such a short time before June, I really hope she gets better soon. We will do what we can. You sounded like a bit like Alan Wake to start with. <laughs> <laughs> but uh apart from the jumping off a balcony thing oh well grace is actually a patient we've got malcolm mccaffrey he's a patient these are all patients elizabeth perosi ruth talent okay we've got we've got oh my god so many i don't think uh, i'm not gonna play all of these there's definitely a lot i don't think any of these are like particularly needed i guess all the patient files except for Jeremy's. I was about to say, where's Jeremy's patient file? Dirty. Yeah, I'll be opening this. Well, we've got a safe to unlock now. Repairing the Something boiler. Notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam pouring out. Be careful. Yeah, okay, thanks for that, Baptiste. So, wine cellar for a valve. Staff and patient Dr. directory. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Okay, we don't need to hear someone read this. This is basically just the numbers of the bedrooms and whose bedroom belongs to, blah, 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 blah. And broken plates. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. Aha. We saw something in the well. I remember seeing it. I need the key. And Batiste's keys don't work? Okay, well, we've got room six key at least. That's a good start. Yes, yeah, so I have a feeling this place is going to be like our hub. I don't know if there's going to be any actual combat in this section. We still have our gun, but... Okay, first I to open the map. Map is updated with information. Oh, so when we find information, we actually... It does actually... Oh, okay. So green means we can open it. Red obviously means we can't. Um, and then there's a puzzle. Solvable with puzzles are green. So if we see a puzzle on the map and it's green, it means we can solve it. Okay, cool. So we've got a room six key, which is upstairs. Jeremy Hartwood's room. Two puzzles in the kitchen garden. One of, That one is the one over on the right hand side is the plate for the boiler. Okay. Well, we've got room six key. So that's our lead for now. Let's go to room six then, shall we? Oh, these are really creepy. I don't like him at all. Look at that. What's that stain? Looks like some kind of rot. Oh yeah, got this like black rot. Oh, do you think the the worlds like between us start to like this seep through? Like mentioned in the commonplace book. This looks like the thing that held the talisman in the French Quarter, but it's broken and missing some pieces. 
Oh, okay. So we need to find some bits for the clock. Okay, that makes sense. Where are we now? Aha. Jeremy Hartwood's room is here. So this is Jeremy's room. Uh, we are... All back to normal. Yeah, because we went out, like, that way, I think. Oh, no, we went out and, like, it was all different, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Where's room six? Wish the doors would stop shutting behind me. That door's barred. Well, that one's blocked off. This one's open. Who lives in here? And can we steal all their stuff? Yes, we can. Fountain pen. Lost children. Unlocks the shotgun cap. Oh, okay. Secret objective. Forbidden knowledge. So if we find all those, we can unlock the shotgun cabinet. Well, I definitely want a shotgun. I think this is Batiste's room. Oh, no. It, yeah, this might be... Might be Batiste. I think he was a boxer. Maybe. No, actually, Batiste isn't an orderly. He said that himself. He's not. He doesn't live here. Well, he does live here. He just doesn't... Um... What'd you call it? Ugh, bugs. Room six? This is room six. Aha! What a strange but beautiful room. Yeah, the bed's like right in the middle of the room. That's weird. Hmm, are these zodiac signs? Probably. I don't have the... I don't have the solution to that, unfortunately. Maybe it's in here. Perosi's journal. Do I need to remember how to get them out again? They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But not for long. I will see her burn soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Derseto, and sadly no Astarte. Those good pirates of Pontchartrain. May you still sail the lake until you find the shores of Hal. Well, at least on the left here, it shows me which ones. It's Aquarius. Oh, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so that's 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 the the code or the key, sorry, to the code. But we need the code. So if we find a number, the great pirates. The Astarte artist colony. I'm Pretty sure they had a Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain when I was a child. Right. So it's about finding. Oh God, there's so many clues in here. There's some aggressive-looking rot on these paintings. Aha. Okay. Uh oh, that did something. I must return. I did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. My talisman now knows these roads, and I have no need for the plates. I can find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. I visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. Thank you for opening these doors. I now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. Jeremy. What what oil rig the hell is he talking about? Oh, wow, look at the mirror. Oh, that's really cool. Unusual for a game to uh, have a mirror. Okay, so if we look at the map, this should tell me whether I can actually solve this or not. I can, oh, ah, right. So I should have everything I need to open that combination here. So by looking at these, these are the numbers, right? 
So I'm assuming in her note, she talks about... Broken plates. No, not this one. Yeah, so there are 12 of them. So we just need to find out who's, who's who then, right? And I've no idea what that rot lined up, by the way. Oh, okay. William Args, Franklin Mossig, Nora Keith. Ah, uh, the names are on. This is this is why we sorted this out. So William Args, Args, William Args. So two. Franklin Mossig, William Args. Two nine. Nora Keith. Two nine four. Okay, two nine four. We've got the code. Two nine four. Everyone remember that. Two nine four. Two nine four. Cool. So now, now we look into here. So Pisces. Pisces. Oh, I was. What was one? Okay. So, okay. I'm. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I was looking at the wrong one. So it's two. So it's actually Pisces. Right, so it's the two half symbols. Two. So it's Pisces, Libra, Taurus. So Pisces, Libra, Taurus. There we go. Okay. Ah, one of the broken plates. Excellent. Tell her about things have changed out here. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's like eggs on the ceiling. Well, oh, good God. Right. I'm going to leave it here for today. We'll find out what happens in the next part. Um, I'm going to be trying to get like maybe one, maybe two, probably two or three of these up a week is the plan at the moment uh but obviously let me know if you uh how you're enjoying this game um so far so good i say it's a little the combat's a little bit janky but that's fine honestly i'm intrigued by the story the setting's pretty cool the characters all seem kind of quirky and um i'm sure there's a mystery here to solve so uh yeah thank you all so much for watching obviously don't forget to give this video a like it really does help support this video gets it out to a lot more people um let me know uh what you thought of the game in the comment section below very much interested to hear what you think and uh obviously we'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching again i'll see you again really soon bye